gentlemen, this is a football. <laughs> this season will be the start of something new. And with every fiber of my being, I'm going to make you the best football team that I can make you. And I'll try. And I'll try again. And if I don't succeed the first time, I'll try again. And you have got to give everything that's in you in order to stop that play on defense or to make the play go if you're on offense. Because this may be the one play in the whole ball game that could cause the winning or the losing of the entire season. Is it poet? My dad was a reporter. He covered you when you were at St. Cecilia's. Yeah, what's his name? Pete McCormick. Pete, you're Pete McCormick, son? Yes, sir. Well, I'll be goddamn. He was a sports writer for the, uh, the, the Paramus paper. The Courier Post for more than 40 years. I met you a couple of times way back when I was a little kid. Your saints were kind of a legend. Ah. And I followed your career after you left. All right, you play. I never forget a number. Nah, I was small when I was a freshman. <laughs> never stopped me. <laughs> Oh, I was really small. <laughs> there was a time I actually thought he might get out of football altogether. Right before we came here. When he was coaching the Giants. Assistant coaching. Big, big difference. He was frustrated. Beyond frustrated. What else on earth would he possibly do? Banker. <laughs> no. Swear to God. Vince Lombardi. I know. Can you imagine? <laughs> you want a loan? <laughs> you think you deserve a loan? <laughs> it's been 15 years, and in all that time, I've never been offered a head coaching job on a college or a professional level, in spite of the fact I've been part of all the winning traditions. Yes. Hell, I got all those winning years on the Red Lake at Army. Only winning seasons with the Giants the past five years. How we nearly won it all is a bad season. Everyone says I should be a head coach right now, and nothing! Why? And the only thing I can think of is that my last name ends in a vowel. Vince. What? Are you finished? <laughs> yes. Jack Venisi called today. Huh? Jack Venisi phoned for you. You were at the bank. Ah, uh, he's with the Packers. That's right. Their personnel man, he's good too. Shame he works for Green Bay. He's conducting It is a waste of talent, if you ask me. To be... <laughs> I'm sorry, Marie. What? He can tell you himself. He wants you to call him as soon as possible. Uh, you know the Giants were trying to get him away from Green Bay a couple of years ago? Stuck in his contract thing. Where are you going? to get an atlas. <laughs> Don't want to leave, coach. I want to be a Packer for as long as I play the game of football. This is my home, you know that. I love the boys and I love the game and all the rest. I love getting up on Sundays. You know, going, coming out to the cold, you know, going down to Lambeau, playing on that frozen field. Hell, even when it's 10 below and the ball's so hard it feels like a brick against your gut. I love seeing Fuzzy and Jerry out in front of me cross-stepping around the end on the power sweep. Hell, I love all that. I got sick of being played for a sucker, that's all. The Players Association's got a plan now. No one's gonna be taking advantage of it. Only time I feel like a sucker is when we lose. You got to have both on, pride both on the field and off. All I know is I don't want to play for any man other than Coach Lombardi. I could do without all the piss and vinegar. Yeah, <laughs> I, I would trade one season Lombardi for ten seasons, a million dollars anywhere else. A million dollars is a lot of money. But you'd never be as good on any other team. That's true. Maybe. One, God, family, and the Green Bay Packers are the three most important <coughs> things in his life, but not necessarily in that order. <laughs> in fact, I would put his family a distant third, and God doesn't rank number one, so. Oh. Though, to Vince's credit, he never misses a morning mass. What's number two? He loves his players. And I don't mean he just likes them an awful lot. He truly, actually loves them. He has a strange way of showing Yes, them. he is a man of extremes. 